This will be a very quick lesson about Venn diagram on operation of sets. Let us start with the union of sets A and B. So we're going to draw a rectangle that represents the universal set. As we all know, the universal set is composed of all the elements from set A and set B. Now, how are we going to illustrate set A and set B? We're going to illustrate it by using two circles. These two circles are where the elements are being written. For example, in here, you're going to write the elements of A in here, and you're going to write the elements of B in here. Now, why did these two overlap? This will only happen if there are common elements between A and B. Now, to get the union of sets A and B using Venn diagram, you need to remember the word combination. When we say combination, you're going to combine the elements of A and the elements in B. And how are you going to do that? So, the shaded portion will be your answer. Every element in A and in B will be the union of sets A and B. Next is the intersection of sets A and B. So again, you're going to use the rectangle in order to represent the universal set. And you're going to draw again two circles to represent set A and set B. Now, to get the intersection of sets A and B, this is the word that you need to remember. Common. When we say common, it means those are the elements similar in A and in B. And where are you going to write that? You're going to write that on the intersection of the circles A and B. So the shaded portion will be the answer. Next, we have complement of a set. To find the complement of a set, for example, set A. So again, you're going to draw the rectangle to represent the universal set. Next is the circle for set A. And this is what you need to remember. Found in U but not in A means to say these are the elements found in the universal set that is not in A. So the shaded portion will be the answer. That's it, and this will be the complement of set A. And the last one, we have the difference of A and B. So again, you're going to draw a rectangle to represent the universal set. Then the two circles that represent A and B. Now, what do you need to remember about getting the difference of two sets? So, in here, you need to remember that if you are getting the difference of A and B, A minus B, this will be the elements in A only without the elements in B. And so, the shaded portion will be the answer. How about if you are getting difference of B and A? So, this will be B minus a so again you need to draw a rectangle in order to represent the universal set and the two circles to represent set a and set b so again in here you need to remember that these are the elements in b without the elements in a so the shaded region will be the answer and that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.